Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting. Uh, I've got a few books here on my table. Uh, these three are still in the process. They are not finished yet, but it was kind of like a way uh, when I finished with these small covers. I do have a few of them. They are already done and I do have listing on my Etsy if you are interested to have a look. And these I still need to finish inside. Uh, these are my oh, kind of like vintage style, uh, that dark academy, uh, dark academy style journals. I do have here prepared, you know, embellishments. So it's just papers now. There is not too many things. And I really enjoyed to do these uh, old looking books. I used foiling for all those covers and I really love that. This is not finished yet. I need to add there a few other things. This is in, uh, in the winter style and I have to say with all of them, I had a huge help. <laughs> we had a new, <laughs> new member of our craft family. This is not even put together yet. So we have a new member of our craft family, my son Jacob. Uh, he totally felt in love with wax stamping. He is all over it and he created uh, quite amazing things. I add them here. Look at this. This is my son's creation. All of it with stamping, with this uh, wax stamp. And he really loves that. And uh, I hope he will join me one day for some craft session and maybe we will we will create you know some some video <laughs> we are crafting together so these large uh, journals are not finished yet but i do have few of these uh, these are kind of like midori style uh, journal covers there is lots of extras inside and uh, once you will take them off you can slide a uh, midori style uh, notebook here behind that uh, elastic band uh, here is another one a little bit smaller you know a little bit smaller uh, holding so some smaller journal can be uh, slide behind that uh, there is many pockets i used tim holtz papers inside and as you can see i add here also jacob's work he wanted to try to stack letters so uh, I printed out uh, vintage letters. Their inside are uh, proper letters, uh, like very old letters. And something like this. When you open it, you will have there some writing. This is a smaller one. I <laughs> choose some smaller one. But there can be, you know, uh, two professors to Oxford. Because I was kind of like, you know, uh, in, uh, in research about the Dark Academy. And it's a beautiful theme. And all these books, I, I think I made many of my books in that theme. Even I didn't know that at that moment that it can be, you know, applied to the Dark Academy. And because uh, Jacob really enjoyed uh, that wax stamping and uh, it was it was so fun to have him here and to chat with him it was really amazing so i really hope he will join me one day for a video and we will kind of kind of kind of craft together with you so it was very enjoyable so i decided to go with that uh, dark academy because i know he likes that as well uh, so i decided to do these covers and these books so, uh, i've got there postmarks in this small envelope because if you are a student on some university you're probably sending you know some some letters somewhere or you're receiving letters from somebody and for a journal you need some basic you know those important words so here and here and also here is few strips where you can use those words you know cut it between like a wonderful or favorite if you want to choose you know separate words so just cut it between there are tags like this all of them uh, with that metal holder so they are uh, very much stronger or much more stronger there are these kind of like bookmarks from a very old paper this one this is really very old paper and it was it had sticky sticky mini strips here so i use that gold foil 
Here as well, I hope you can see that uh, gold shining. I am all over of that uh, gold foiling, I think it's called that, that technique. So I totally felt in love with this technique. Uh, I saw a few videos from Jennifer McGuire Inc. She is my best or my favorite uh, card maker. I love her videos. She's always... She's amazing. She used so many different techniques and I learned from her so much. So I will put link down below for her channel because really this lady is amazing, amazing. And her cards are so stunning. And here we've got some book pages. As a student on university, you will probably study some languages. And uh, this is dialogue and drama. So it's about art and, you know, about... Uh, books it's very important in the dark academy books that's why all these three books because <laughs> and that's why i love it because i do love books i don't have so much time to read lately but i do love uh, books very much and here is invoice and some you know some uh, what is it cartotech card i don't remember <laughs> english what i think index card like this <laughs> And here we've got another Jacob's uh, stamping. And we have here this. Again, I will say Cartotec card and plan note, small. I think these are for those uh, Rolodex, Rolodex cards. You can poke the hole here and it's sliding on that Rolodex holder. This one is the same, but this is for that vintage one, where is there just one uh, one ring. So these two are for, uh, from that vintage uh, Rolodex, if it was the same name. Checklist, uh, movie list, reading list and just, you know, small note, uh, mini note. Uh, mini note, mini note, mini note. <laughs> Not sure if there is some additional word for that. So it's in this pocket here. And when we flip it over, we do have that another stack of ephemeras. This is from a library. This is when you go to like subscribe uh, to library. Like you will... Uh, you will be coming there uh, monthly or weekly to uh, borrow some books. So you have to fill those cards. So this is one of these cards. And we have again the tag. And as a student from university or from college or from academy, you will probably travel a lot. So you will have here... Oops! We always had kind of like a batch with our, our monthly ticket. So we have, you have here, these are uh, English tickets, 6p. Can't believe, can't believe it was cost just 6p. Leicester, from Leicester. And these are just what I have printed out. These are uh, copies of Czech uh, tickets. <laughs> just lost my word. So that's added in this pocket. And again, Jacob's stamping. He really loved that. He loved that effect when you can, and it makes this beautiful, beautiful stamping. So I'm thinking maybe um, using embossing powders will be probably, hopefully, similar for him. So I'm planning to kind of like jug him <laughs> with me. I really enjoyed to do that, to do that craft session with him and chat with him. And here we've got, <laughs> here we've got ID with a funny face. And we have small uh, mini mini notebook with few pockets. And in one pocket, as a student, you need a lot of money. And I think I just lost my money. So we have their banknote. That Jacob gave me this one for my journals. I said, just place it there. That's funny. <laughs> so I did. And we have here a library uh, card and library pocket, pocket for library card and few random numbers.
as a decoration when you will have there your notebook you can you know decorate with these words or with those numbers so this is small not small this is cover journal I have to say we made together with Jacob because it was amazing we kind of did it together and I do have few of them so if you are interested to buy one of I will say our uh, journal cover go to have a look I do love that foiling very much it's it's amazing technique uh, I will link down below Jennifer McGuire Inc if I will found that uh, that video I, I didn't watch it for a long time but I will have a look uh, if I will find it she does have so many videos <laughs> so if I will find it I will put link especially for that video where she showed that technique uh, it's a technique where you are using uh, those foils and you are using a laminator and laser printer that's why it works so I will put that link down below so this is my sharing. Uh, hopefully soon I will share with you those other three journals, but I don't want to share them yet properly. I just wanted to show you uh, the beauty <laughs> of handmade <laughs> vintage book. I really love this one. It, it's it's perfect size, you know. It's really perfect size. It's just exactly. It's a little bit thicker, but it's not huge like like this one. This one is huge and it's already heavy. This is a uh, Prague theme and alchemist uh, from Prague because there was so many. When there was uh, Rudolf III, the third, I think it was Rudolf the third, the king, Rudolf, the, no, Caesar. I think he was Caesar. Oh, my teacher of history will now probably punch me. <laughs> I don't remember. But but his name was Rudolf and he was a huge fan of alchemists. So at that time, there was so many alchemists in Prague. So that was the, the, the main theme of this very, very heavy book already now. I need to finish it. And these two, all of, of these uh, tops uh, and the backs of my journals, they are my design. I created on my computer and then I just print it out and use that foiling technique. So this is my sharing for today. If you are interested to buy one of these journals or uh, journal covers I made with my son, uh, go to have a look. Link will be down below. We will appreciate that very much because uh, every penny we are making... Uh, we are having making by making those journals are going to save for our first home and i hope i hope it will go well so this is my sharing for today thank you so much for visiting me thank you so so much for sharing your time with me i hope you found some inspiration and i hope you did enjoy this one have a beautiful day take care about yourself and i will see you soon bye